you played Darlington in the first qualifying round and when they were awarded a spot kick, how far away could a third round match uh, possibly seem then? Well, when we got the draw, we, you know, we had failed the, um, the season before we were flying. Um, Darlington were the favourites for their league this season. Uh, a week at Darlington was probably the worst tight we could get, actually. Um, good side. Um, a lot of local players. Um, so when they got the penalty, we thought that was it, you know, at the end of the, end of the season of the cup run. Yeah. Um, but what a save, Peter Jeffries. Awesome. Got a big hand on it. And um, they hit the post a couple of times, and we hit the post the last couple of minutes. You know. And you've had so many away <coughs> ties in this cup run as well, with all four qualifiers uh, being away. So you've done it the hard way. And, and how how did the team cope with all that? I think it's it was um, it's it's probably a little bit worse because we had league games away in between that as well. So we had a run of I think it was ten league games, uh, well ten games including league and cup away from home. Um, so we've got that momentum of travelling away. Um, and you get that sort of siege mentality when you're playing away games. Um, and we relaxed a lot, and I thought the games I played were superb, you know, Mick Lover and um, Skemsley. I think Skemsley will probably be the best performance of the season so far, um, but just absolutely outstanding, you know. And uh, the league form has really kicked in since the start of the FA Cup form as well. <coughs> you know, has that been a big influence on, on your whole season? Well, we've played well all season, to be honest. I think some we've seen we've lost three or four and 20 games you know um, but we'll, we lost a silly game against um, FC United at home and we lost against Buxton which I should never lost that game um, so really it wasn't um, as bad as what people were making out we played Ashton on a Monday night uh, away from home which was which was just too early in the season for so it hasn't really been a, a bad bad season we've, we've lost a few games but we've competed in every one of them which is all we can ask and we knew that our form would change and it just it's just changed over the last maybe two two months, you know. And in the FA Cup range, you've obviously played Scamsdale, you won four one. The League Town one was crazy. You yeah. beat option four one here. <laughs> Hasn't been relaxing at all, has it? There's been a few heart stopping <laughs> moments along the way. Yeah, I think it's every game we play. It's not um, we're never making anything easy. And I think that's just the the youth, the enthusiasm, of the youth. They want to score all the time, and they keep on bombing on when we just want to settle down a bit. But yeah, you, you you just kind of pull them back, you know. They're desperate to play. Um, the desperate score goals, and it's a bit like uh, kids in the school ground, they just keep on going, you know. And has the youth in the side been a reason for you play as a team like Altrincham here in a conference side and completely outplayed them on the day? Is the youth a key factor in that, do you think? I think it's a drive, we've got huge drive, um, and that's from the experienced players as well. Um, the whole club has got drive about it on the management side, you know, the background staff are, are, are very highly driven. Um, the players are, are massively driven. Um, and they just love playing for the shirt, you know. And when they get a momentum going, they're unstoppable at times, you know. And the uh, Hartlepool game was on TV. Such a such an incredible game for everyone, for the fans, for the players. Is that the best day in football you've had? Oh yeah, uh, without doubt, you know. Um, I thought the whole occasion. Um, I had BBC cameras in my house at half past seven in the morning. <laughs> I stopped work till um, till till we got on the bus actually. So I camped out in the house for maybe six or seven hours, um, and it was just the occasion and. The, the, the the feel of the cup it was just felt like an FA Cup day in the in the old days, um, the FA Cup used to be a, a, like all day, people used to follow um, clubs around on the bus and then we used to do things at work and people got the haircuts and all that and it's, it was exactly like the old days when I used to know when I was a young lad, um, it was exactly so, the same type of day. It was just it was a fantastic day and the, and the game was yeah you know, so unbelievable yeah. yeah. And uh, moving on now, you've drawn uh, Birmingham City in the next round. Uh, can you win it? Oh yeah, we, we, we can win it. Um, there's got to be a lot of uh, things happen to for it to win it. They've got to they've got to come here and, and not play that well, and we've got to play, you know, probably better than we've ever played in our lives. You know, um, the crowd's got to get behind. We're, um, we've got to make this a bit of a fortress, which we are doing now. Um, it'll be a cold night, no matter what or, or day, um, and it'll be pretty hostile. Um, the supporters will be behind. But there's a chance. It's a slim chance, but there's a massive chance um, to to on the day. To, to play um, and if we play well we've got an outside chance but we will play well I'm sure we'll play well at home and I think we'll give them a good game you know yeah and, and Birmingham obviously a championship side but haven't had the best of seasons the last couple of years and a young manager in Gary Rowe it's just come in there will you be speaking with, with Gary before the match or at any time um, probably not to be honest um, <laughs> the, it's, it, it's probably one of them where 
I know Lee Clark pretty well, and mm. um, well, I know him well. He's not my best mate, I think. But <laughs> and I know Dan Byrne was there for a season. Yeah. Um, his best mate to our Matty, so I'll have a chat with Dan and see if I can get some interest on there. You obviously wish him all the best, Gary Road, because he's he's obviously done a fantastic job there. Um, he's come from Burton Albany, I think, and he's he's turned the the, the, t- the team around at Birmingham. Yeah. So he's got great, you know, great credit them because um, they were going the wrong direction. Um, so the obviously he's got them playing well. He's got them fighting for each other. A bit like us actually. Um, so it should be a very very exciting game. You know? mm.